Hi, welcome to Anime by Any Means. My name is Abab, and today I'm doing an unboxing of Figma Series 52 Vita from the anime Magical Girl Lyrical Nanaha Strikers. Vita is a part of three Belkin Knights and a Guardian Beast who were all created by the Book of Darkness. She is centuries old, no one knows the exact age. In Strikers, she is a part of Riot Force 6, working directly under Nanaha, who in turn works directly under Hayate. Strikers is a decent anime. It's the third in the franchise of the Magical Girl Lyrical Nanaha. Vita personally is one of my favorite characters. In the second series, Aze. She is amazing. The story is great. I think that's actually my favorite installment. And I kind of wish that she was from that series and not Strikers. Strikers is a bit of a letdown. While it does have a few strong points, good action, a couple of nice little story arcs, it just tries to introduce way too many characters. And half of them you don't give a crap about. And the other half, there's just not enough development to really feel any sort of attachment to them. So, I do recommend that you do watch the anime, but be sure to watch it in the chronological order. I am going to go ahead and show you her up close in a second, and then stick around. We'll have a stop motion at the end. Here we can see Vita up close. Um, by the time Vita was created, this is a 2014 release, they made a couple of changes to the sculpt. Uh, one is her hoagie is actually a flexible plastic, where in the past, they were not, and it was a complaint because people kept breaking them off. Uh, you can see she has a nice smiling expression there. Some cute ribbons down the front of her Lolita dress. Some cute yellow ribbons at the tops of her sleeves. Her braided ponytails are nicely sculpted, along with her hair. You can see her dress a little bit lower. Has a nice little pointed pattern facing down. She also has a huge gigantic ribbon from the lower back of her dress. It's quite impressive. And as we go further down, we can see she has a great metallic paint on her boots. It's quite pleasing to the eye. Really grabs your attention. We can see this is a real nice sculpt here. I'm going to get into some articulation. See her head does go forward. Uh, it does go side to side a tiny bit. Not really posable. It will do a 360. I had to move up her ponytails or braids to do the 360. Her braids also go up and down. And they also will do a 360, which is great for posability. Um, her chest will go forward and back a tiny bit. Arm. We'll do a 360, up and down, elbow goes in and out, hand 360 as any Figma, and it will go forward and back. On the small of her back, she has a giant ribbon. It will also go up quite a ways and down. See her blouse is a soft PVC plastic the top at the chest area of her dress. 
Whereas the bottom of her Lolita dress is completely solid, so you're not gonna be able to just sit her down in a chair. Legs. Up, down, at the knee. Up, down, and again, the dress is limiting her mobility. Uh, her waist will go quite a ways to the side. As you can see. On her foot, uh, forward, back. It is limited a little bit by the armor here. It will do a 360. And it will go a bit from side to side. Here's one of her cooler accessories. This is the hat that she's given to in the A series by Hayate. See the little Usagis or bunnies on there. She cherishes this hat, it means a lot to her. I'm going to show you how to put her hat on. Okay, you can see there is two slots here on the hair plate. Let's clip that in right there. And as you can see, she's looking pretty slick and kawaii with her hat. You can see here she has six additional hands. I'll go through those really quick. She has a pointing index finger hand. She has a hand with her Schwarbe Fergen, which is her guided attack. These balls go out and seek the opponent like a heat-seeking missile. Two open hands, and two hands for holding items. You can see these two slots are missing. Here's the reason the two slots were missing. You can see on these hands, there is no articulation or movement. That is because her weapon is very big and heavy and it's helped stabilize that. Okay, here we have our intelligent device, Graf Eisen, which is an ancient Belkin weapon. That's well, really nice. It has the little steam vents here for when it's unloading cartridges from the enemy. Um, it looks just like the weapon. It's not as nicely painted here as it is in the anime, but otherwise it's really nice. Okay, hey, now with the uh, Graf Eisen, I'm going to show you its different forms. Like, say, this is the hammer form. To switch out the hammer, and just pull it apart, there's a little peg piece here. This is the rocket form. Uh, it's rocket propelled, flames come out of here, and it helps to head it into its opponent at high speeds. All right, here we have the Gigan form. It is octagonal, and the hammer can grow many times its size, becoming even more powerful of a weapon. Prominently featured in A's, and also she uses it in Strikers. Okay, here we have the Zerstung form, which combines the Giganta form with the rocket form. It has a spinning drill at the tip. This is only seen within the Striker series. It combines the Giganta form, size changing with the rocket form, rocket propulsion. So you can imagine it's super powerful. The thing that comes with the hammer is a additional warped rod. This is because when Vita swings her hammer, she often swings Graf Eisen so powerfully that the warps the rod as it's being swung. Here you can see. Okay, to place the hammer within her hands, you simply remove the shaft, put it through her face, stiff there since this is the first time going in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 
Here you can see Vita in one of her signature poses. She is swinging that hammer back, and I gotta tell you, that hammer is heavy. You can see uh, Vita's shouting expression, and also her alternate hair plate, which has the fringe going to the opposite side, as well as the hoagie going to the opposite side as well. Okay, final summation, uh, she comes with a ton of accessories, all three hammer forms, an amazing sculpt, she's very cheap to buy, um, cons, old figma hands are weak, and her open hands are completely limp-wristed, poor articulation due to her low lead to dress, overall great if you're a fan of the show or Lolita's, I give her a 7 out of 10 alternate faces, if you like my channel, please comment, like, and subscribe, and matinee!